In this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to use Atlas Client for MCPE. If you want the Atlas Client download, then I will link that down in the description below. Anyways, here as you can see, I am inside of Minecraft. There we go, now you guys can actually see me. I don't actually main mobile, like, at all, so expect this all to be potentially a little bit clunky. Anyways, to open up the Atlas Client menu, you want to go into the pause menu right over here, where you will find the Atlas Client settings. This is not the same as the inventory, it's not here. You need to go into the pause menu and then click on this Atlas Client settings area. Here you'll be brought to this location, which we will get back to later. But what we can do for right now is click on this blue client settings button. In this client settings button, uh, you'll have all of the utilities that this client has right here on the left hand side. These are all utilities that you can use uh, to turn these on, for example, the auto sprint. You can click on that just like that and that is going to turn it on. You can click on it once again and that is going to turn it off. If you click in its general area, then you will find an exact description of what the utility does, as you can see, together with the option to potentially set a keybind. Obviously, if you're playing on mobile without a keyboard, then setting a keybind won't really work. Anyways, some of these also have further customizations, as you can see right over here. There is some further customization options to, in this case, the chat text hotkey. Some of these, these utilities will also have keybinds set by default, but once again, if, if you're playing without a keyboard, then keybinds won't matter much. Anyways, here in the search modules area, you can search for a specific things if you're looking for something specific. Anyways, for the rest, Right at the top over here, there is a client settings area, and this is a general client settings. These are some just some general things that you can manage inside of the client if you wish to do so. For the rest, as you can see, there is a bunch of utilities here. And now some of these utilities are going to be things that show up on your actual screen as well. For example, the FPS delay uh, display. When I close this, as you can see right over here, I'm can now see the amount of frames per second I'm getting inside of Minecraft. Uh, there is more like this that you can enable. For example, right over here, let's see if I can find another one, the ping display, which is going to display my ping. Obviously right now my ping is zero because I'm not in a server, but they're actually on top of each other right now and I don't really like that. So how you can manage that is going back into this Atlas Client settings area, and then right over here, this first location, which I said we'd get back to, is actually the HUD manager. So you can now grab these things over here and move them around to wherever you want. What's so fantastic about this is that the client actually has grid snap. So you can place this anywhere you want on your screen. For example, maybe I want my FPS display to be right up here as it was before, but I don't want my ping to be on the same uh, lo location again. So maybe I'll move my ping right over there. Now I can close out of here, and as you can see, they're both in different locations now. Anyways, for the rest of course, if you want to turn those off again, then you can simply back head back into the client settings and turn them off of course. In the um, specific, in the customization settings for the things that show up on your screen, you can actually customize the entire way that it looks, as you can see, which is definitely pretty cool. Anyways, closing out of here, once again, there is one more thing we haven't looked at yet in this client settings area, and that is this profiles menu right over here. You can click on that, and that, that allows you to create a new profile. What these profiles do is save all of these settings and customizations that you have set whilst playing with Atlas Client. If you wanted to save your settings, then click on the add profile thing, give it a name, and then click on the plus. Now that is a profile and you can select it by clicking on it just like so and you can go back to the default or main profile by simply clicking on it just like that. If you want to delete it too, there is a button for it. Whenever you have a profile selected and you go into the client settings area, then any changes you apply will automatically get saved to that profile. For example, if I put this all the way up, That'll now be saved to my subscribe profile, which, by the way, is definitely something you should do. Anyways, for right now, though, it's getting dark, and that was basically everything that you do need to know. If you have any questions or stuff like that, of course, do feel free to let those down in the comments below. And um, for right now, that was basically that. Thank you ever so much for watching, and I do, of course, hope to see you again 
in the next one. Bye-bye.